the pandemic has hit so many of us hard, especially when it comes to stress. We're exploring the different stressors impacting each generation. This morning, we're diving into Generation X. They've had to juggle care to caretaking, remote learning, work, and the pandemic in general. In one poll by healthinsurance.com, compared to 60% of millennials, 56% of Gen Xers report experiencing financial insecurity as a result of COVID-19. Still, though, this may be the generation best equipped to manage that stress. Before the pandemic, it just felt like everything was, you were busy, you couldn't stop the train, and then the train stopped, right? And then what was left was what really mattered. For Miranda Vieira. No, no comments. What comes into focus during the pandemic? 1,000, what's the next one? 400. 400. Are her kids, her grandparents, and her business. Stressors always were, you know, are my kids going to learn enough at home? Uh, is my business going to um, succeed at home. You know, I had to pivot that completely overnight. Um, and then the other stressor, the big one is, you know, am I ever gonna be able to hug my grandpa again? Something as simple as a hug suddenly became so complicated. Miranda takes care of her grandpa who's in hospice with stage four cancer while battling MS herself. My entire world was turned upside down pretty much overnight. But she still pushed on. And a lot of Miranda's resilience has to do with the generation she grew up in. We're kind of sandwiched in between generations that people talk about a lot, like the millennial experience, the baby boomer experience, and what about us and Gen, Gen X? Gen Xers born between the mid 1960s and the early 1980s may sometimes be forgotten, but not left behind. Time has gone by, there's a layer of dust on it, and now there's another trauma. So Dr. Annette Geva is a psychologist at Health One. She says Gen Xers did very well during the pandemic because, well, they've been here before. They've already lived through a recession. They've already lived through 9-11. They've already lived through um, quite a few changes and having to adapt each time, they kind of know what's happening. These shared experiences have helped Gen Xers become capable and competent today. Because they are the um, the powerhouse of the of the um, industry there they have to continue working they're taking care of their little kids and their parents are now aging a lot of the generation xers are still paying their student loans back at the viera household miranda and her family are coping by pulling together and controlling what they can i've been through a lot in my life personally and then kind of collectively just you know in the generation that i'm in and um like I said, this wasn't the worst thing in the world for us. <laughs> it was hard, but you know, it wasn't over. And with vaccinations come hugs. This one between Miranda and her grandpa, long awaited. It was awesome. So I, I've been seeing them every week, but I have not been touching them. A beautiful moment there. I love Miranda and her family. So it seems like Gen X did the best of all generations in coping with pandemic stress, but that doesn't mean that it was a walk in the park. Like Miranda said, if you're feeling overwhelmed, Dr. Gava shared these three tips with me. Pause, breathe, notice how you feel, take care of your body, your health, and of course, reach out and stay connected.